I've said it before, I like when games give you good, straightforward instructions right from the get-go. And here it's just don't say yes. I mean, how hard can that be? I'm very good at saying no. Yeah, 22XX in the Lunic Calendar. A spaceship crashed into the moon. Is the Lunic Calendar all that different from the Earth Calendar? Because presumably it, it goes around the sun in the same amount of time that the Earth does because it orbits the Earth. So it takes the same amount of time for it to get around the sun as it takes for the Earth to get around the sun because it's orbiting us. Warning. Critical damage to life support systems. Ah, it always says that it's fine. Warning. Life support shut down in eight minutes. <coughs> oh, I'm still alive. No, no, this is hell. Welcome. It looks an awful lot like the moon, but I can assure you it's hell. Oh, the human from space is awake. I mean, I, I prefer to be called the human from Earth, but... I mean, I guess technically I came from space. I mean, if someone was, like, on a ship and they came, you wouldn't go... The person from sea. Presumably that ship came from somewhere. You are very... <clears throat> Let's try that one again. <laughs> you are very lucky. No human has ever come to the moon for hundreds of years. Why am I giving you this voice? Because I can, really. Um, yeah. Uh, Neil, is that you, by the way? Did we, did we forget about you up here? But the impact of the landing has broken your body. It seems to me that your death is near fucking finally. Been trying to die for such a long time I became a fucking spaceship pilot. You would think, you know, it's a high risk job, but no, I just kept on trucking along. Just wouldn't let me die. How pitiful, it must hurt so much. See, this voice doesn't match you. You need like a more... Oh. Ah. You, you should just give your, you should just give your body to me. Make a pact with me to invite my spirit. Are you sure you're an alien? Like, are you a hundred percent sure? That you're not actually a demon and like something went wrong and you ended up on the moon instead of on Earth. Like, I mean, you know, I've said it before. Those portals that, those portals that Lucifer is using to like move between Earth and Hell, they're just so fucking unreliable. People are constantly ending up where they don't want to go, you know. They, they try to send people to possess the president and it ends up in the room of some child. And it's like, well, this was just a waste of fucking time. It's very possible you're a demon and that you just like ended up in the wrong place. I mean, you got the horns for it. All you have to do is say yes. You're, you've gone back to this voice. Say yes and I'll heal all your pain with my power. Um, I've been given clear instructions to say no and also I'm like 90% sure you're a demon. Which, you know, I uh, can't have that. I refuse. There's an old legend in my bloodline about demons. <laughs> about a demon that lives on the moon? I fucking called it. Ah, oh, wonderful. That means your ass has been stuck up here for such a long time. The demon has no body, they cannot leave the moon by their power alone, so they dream of stealing a human body to escape. I mean... He... 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 Your, your legend says that he dreams of a body to steal. Steal suggests that they just take it, but clearly he needs some kind of consent to take the body. Ha <laughs> You are a sharp one. You got me. I'm the demon of the moon! Just a quick bit of advice here, buddy. Maybe, um, don't just immediately admit that you're a moon demon at the very first opportunity. 
Um, using your body to leave this wretched moon. It's kind of ironic, really. Humans have spent so much time and effort trying to get to the moon. And then you, you're on the moon and you, you, you want to leave. I mean, admittedly, we don't want to be stuck on the moon. It fucking sucks. There's nothing to do up there. The Wi-Fi up there is just garbage. Ah, but the fact remains that your death is very near. How about it, human? You want to live, don't you? Not really. Then let me have your body! Just say yes, and I'll use my power to heal your wounds. Can we discuss this whole power situation? I mean, also, like, if you take over my body, I won't be in charge anymore. And it's like, what's the point of living? I, I'm not really living, I'm alive, but I can't do anything or say it because you're in control of the body. So it's like, I'll just become a passenger in my own body, and why would I want to do that? I refuse. I decided long ago to say no to all contracts, and yet somehow, I still ended up as like a space pilot. Wonder how that would happen. Maybe that's why I decided to say no to all contracts, because I got fucked. On working as a working as a pilot and was like, you know what? I'm just gonna never sign a contract again. I can do more than save your life. Can you pay off my student loans? I'll give you unimaginable power. Well, you have no idea what my imagination can do. I can assure you, I can imagine more power than you can conjure up. I'll bestow you. With fearsome might like that of a god! Just real quick, if you're a demon and you're talking about like gods and things, is God real? Just, you know, feels. If I'm gonna die, this feels like important information to like wrap my head around. Strength that will let you win against anyone! Even that. Fucker, Clive, I'm telling you now, Clive, he cheats at checkers. I'm not bad at checkers, he's a cheater. Oh, I bet you have a boss who you don't like too much. I mean, why do you think I don't sign contracts and I was desperate to die? Don't you want to boss them around for a change? Not really. I'd be perfectly happy with them just being unhappy, but I don't have to boss them around. That just sounds kind of irritating. Not at all, I have no need for that. I like that it doesn't even give me a choice. It's just like, oh, you're gonna say no, it's the title of the game. I have already taken countless lives, have I? I wasn't consulted. With the two hands right here before you now. <sighs> you're an odd one, Mr. Grinch. You're throwing me off my game. Yeah, what's your game? Want to play some checkers? Yeah, as long as you promise not to cheat like that bastard, Clive! Talk big all you want, but it means nothing here! I would feel- I feel like it, it, it means everything here, because there's fuck all else to do up here but talk. You can just use my body after I'm dead, right? You know? You can have it. I'm dead, I don't care. Why bother trying to save my life? A corpse is useless to me. Just lays there stinking up the place. Ugh, gross. There's no point in entering a dead body. Oh, oh freezing, buddy. You, <laughs> you really need to work on your phrasing here. This could be just taken very wrong. It's no fun at all. All a dead body does is rot, even in space. Well, I guess the moon isn't really space, but... Would a dead body rot on the moon? I need to make a deal with you while you're alive! I mean, I was only supposed to live for eight minutes. It's gotta have been eight minutes by now. <laughs> I might still be alive, but I'm as good as dead. You can think whatever you want. 
I just want your living spirit and body. Well, hello, whoa, whoa, whoa. The deal here was for the body. Now you're throwing in like extra shit, like extra clauses, fine print. You, like the spirit was not included in the original deal. How about this? Do you have any dreams? Uh, I have a dream that I'm in a car that's in the water a lot. I'm like, the car's filling with water. But I mean, I don't know if you want that dream. It's not great. Give me your body, and I'll grant your wish! But I mean, I, don't, I just said I, it's not great, and I don't want that dream to happen. Dreams, huh? <laughs> Even a demon can't help me there. Don't hold back, do you? My dream is to go on a picnic with my son and family. Are they dead? Is that, uh, is that it here? Did I purposely crash into the moon? Am I suicidal? Like, did I try and, like, you know, into the moon? Ah, what a puny little dream! <laughs> I'll make the sandwiches, we'll have picnic! Just go on a picnic and make your dream come true! I got into a fight with my son. He said he didn't need two dads. Wait! What? Sounds like things were complicated. I'm just a demon. I don't really want to be involved in your family drama. Listen, here's, how you, here's, here's the deal. You're thinking like he's going to have to willingly come to the picnic. I'm a demon. I'm thinking more tie him up and force him to go to the picnic, you know? <coughs> I can't keep doing this voice. You fought with your son then? Did you say sorry? Of course not. Don't be ridiculous. And you're not going to? Ah, uh, why should I apologize? Fuck him. I can't ever see him again. <laughs> I'm supposed to be like a, a sympathetic dying man. Come on, get in the right headspace. What? Oh. I get it now. Your son didn't like his new dad. My son was taken from me. I'll never see him again. I'll never get a chance to say sorry. Oh, I see. It's a custody issue. No, he's dead. He, the son is definitely dead. 100% dead. Although if there's demons and apparently a god, it's highly possible there's an afterlife. You want to see your child, but you can't. Also, I'm going to die on this moon. Doesn't that just make the deal sweeter for you? Mm -hmm. My power can pierce rock and shatter steel. If you so desire, it can even grant you the gift of flight while well, now we're talking. Like, I mean, if you had led with the ability to fly. But also, it can even grant you the ability of flight, which means like, you think that's like quite an impressive stretch of power, and you started with all this off with unimaginable power, and I can definitely imagine flight. My imagination can stretch far beyond the ability to just fly. You'd have the power to do anything. You could take back your son. I'm sure that would lift your spirits. Just say yes. Uh, no, because I'm getting you the real feeling that, like, you're really trying to stiff me on this whole unimaginable power deal here. Like, if you, if flight is, like, a high bar for you, we're gonna, we're gonna, like, have some disagreements. In hindsight, that's what I should have done. But I didn't. And that's why I've decided to never say yes again. Well, that feels like a bad idea. I mean, it feels like that would cause some problems in day-to-day -day life. Wasn't there that dude who, like, they made a movie about him and he had, like, full thing about he wasn't allowed to say no. And he went, like, did all this crazy shit and he wrote a book. Where's that information coming from, brain? My son was taken hostage to force me to go to war. Well, this story just got... The plot thickens at every step. Uh, what? 
This sounds very uh, complicated. Is it? Look, dude, I just want a body. Just give me your body. I don't care about your sob story. I kind of regret going the dreams angle. Like, I was like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll tempt him with his dreams. And now you're, like, dragging me into all this sob story, and it sucks. Let me tell you my story, demon. <gasps> no, that's fine. Please don't. I come from a bloodline with an ancient power. Ooh, is it flight? I have genes for battle and great physical strength. And my blood is the key to powering an ancient machine. What the fuck? A weapon that pierces rock and shatters steel. Is it you? Am I here for the moon demon? A weapon that can even grant the gift of flight. Is it the spaceship? Wow, that's so cool. You're super strong like a hero. I'm picturing a butt coming along here. So I had to have a child to keep my blood going. I mean, I, I know what he means, but just something about the phrase to keep my blood going is just... <laughs> I was the last of my line, and I was born a woman. So your line would end if you didn't give birth to a kid? Are we, like, genetically engineered? Because couldn't they just make more soldiers? It seems... Like a bad idea to engineer super soldiers and then your plan to keep getting super soldiers is hope that you, those super soldiers A don't die in battle and B have children that have whatever genes make them special because like genes get diluted and watered down and like some might not get passed on and you know it feels like not the most reliable way to get more super soldiers if you can just engineer more super soldiers, because presumably someone had to make them in the first place. But I was born with a heart that was at odds with my body. Huh? Yet I still had to have a child. I couldn't tell anyone. I lived with my heart trapped in a wrong vessel. This demon really just like lets us talk. Like we only have eight minutes of life support left, which by all rights we should be dead. But it's like, you have a limited amount of time and this demon just gonna let us like waste time telling our life story. Like no wonder you're stuck on the moon, bro. My partner was kind, a good and gentle man. I wasn't the woman he wanted me to be, but I still couldn't say no. Oh, aren't we not only supposed to, uh, we, now I can't remember if I'm supposed to say yes or no. We're only supposed to say no. That's our whole vibe. We exchanged vows, our child was born, he grew up, did he have the super soldier mutation, whatever the fuck it is? Again, this just feels like the worst way to pass on, to make more super soldiers. Like, unless you've lost the ability to make new super soldiers, this is such an unreliable system. Uh, I felt it was too late to speak up, so I hid the truth. But I couldn't keep lying. My kind partner tried to accept the truth. Is my partner also a super soldier? Because if he's a normal human, that again makes it even more unreliable. But it was too much for a young child. He kept crying and yelling. He said he didn't need two dads. I mean, this demon is very easy to flabbergast. I'm starting to get the feeling you're not actually a demon and that you're just like a random alien. You are actually an alien who just likes to fuck with people to get stuck on the moon. My son ran away from home in shock. Did he die? Or did what happened to him? I'm presuming the child is dead. Maybe not a great presumption, but I'm presuming the child is dead. My partner and I were frantic in our searching for him. Oh, is the partner gonna die? We couldn't find him. He never came back. 
All that came was a letter, so he's not dead. A letter telling me to go to war if I wanted my son back. Okay, so like, a letter- I forgot about the whole he's been taken hostage thing, which like doesn't really work if the kid has died. Uh, was it a letter from like the government? Or just like, a random letter, because... Wow, that's quite the plot twist. Now I get it. Anyway, can I have your body? Because you're about to die and don't want to be stuck on the moon. Can I have it? Especially now that I know your body is that of, like, some kind of super soldier. I had no choice. My country was at war, far off in space. Their goal was to destroy the enemy. They needed the strongest weapons available. My country researched ancient technology. See, the fact that they say it's ancient makes me think they can't make more super soldiers. But then why would they kidnap the son and not send the son to war? Although I guess it depends on how old the kid is. They do say young child, but... I mean, like, that has ever stopped anyone from ever using child soldiers. To create a fighter spaceship with exceptional power, and then I fucking plowed it into the moon. One fighter alone is strong enough to destroy a planet. That just feels like a horrible idea. But only one person could pilot it. Me. They needed my blood to save the country. The world. So do you like have to like... Like stick needles and then that powers the spaceship, you know? Is it using like your blood as fuel? How's this... How, what's happening here? That's what they told me. I couldn't refuse. They told me that if I didn't go, they would kill my partner. Not your son? Well, I guess. See, that means your son isn't a super... Your partner, rather, isn't a super soldier. And your son probably is. But, like, how sure are we that he is? And that, th th that whatever makes you special wasn't lost somewhere in the genetic lottery. So I said yes. I would do as I was told. I would go to the edge of space. To somewhere nobody knew me. To somewhere nobody had any memories of me. To somewhere far, far away. So you ended up drifting through space in your ship. How did I end up on the moon? Did, did we leave Earth? I kept my mouth shut until you were done. But everything that happened to you is so awful! Anyway, can I have your body? Are you really okay with your life being so terrible? I mean, I don't know how you possessing my body makes my life less terrible. It, like, it shit still sucks. I'll go crush all of your country's rulers. I'll destroy everyone who made you suffer! I mean, that doesn't... that feels like a horrible idea. I suffered, so now other people have to suffer as a result. That, that, that's not a great plan. You just have to let me into your body. Just say yes. Oh no, that your plan seems bad and it's gonna make more people suffer. And just because I suffer doesn't mean other people should also suffer. It just feels like a bad plan. Thank you, but it's all over now anyway. I mean, I needed this suit. I need to get a refund on it because it's had eight minutes and it's been 20 and I'm still alive. I went to the enemy's planet and killed far more people than I can count. Did you blow up the whole planet? Because apparently a ship can just do that and it feels like that kind of power shouldn't be in a fighter ship. Also, because like fighter ships can exactly like this, they can crash and then the enemy can get their hands on them, depending on where they crash. And then they have the weapon that can destroy planets. You know, feels not great. I killed everyone and even blew up the planet itself. That's terrifying. You're like a demon yourself. Yes. Sure, let's go with that. And then I returned. But a long time had passed while I flew across space. Is my son, like, died of old age? Hey, wait, just one second here. Don't tell me. Are you a Lunarian? I'm gonna go with no, because I don't know what that is. A human from the moon? How fucking dare you? 
I'm Earthborn proudly. I'm a proud Earthborn genetic monster. <laughs> okay, apparently not. I am. My bloodline is from the moon. So I'm like you. You weird fucking whatever you are. From before the Earthlings stepped foot on the moon. And then they did and Neil slapped some alien ass. Like, god damn. He fucked so many alien women. It was just insane. Buzz had to drag him back to the ship because he just would not stop fucking the alien woman. But the moon died long ago. Everyone was gone ages ago. There was a huge battle between the moon and the earth. Of course there fucking was. Fucking can't go five minutes. Earth can't go fucking five minutes without wanting to murder someone. People couldn't live on the moon anymore. It was the same on earth. You came all the way back here while knowing that? Uh, I didn't know. I was asleep while the ship traveled. Oh. I mean, so... How did... How did the, 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 when I left, Earth and the Moon were both habited, inhabited by people. And then I slept. Killed an entire planet. And then slept while coming back. So where did I hear rumors about a demon on the moon? How, when did I discover this information? Because I didn't know everyone was dead and the moon was now uninhabited until I got here. So are you, where, where does this rumor come from? I laughed when I saw it from space. Everything was gone. So there's nothing I can do. Nobody's left. I mean, unless time is cyclical and then you can just go back to sleep and hope you sleep until everything comes back, you know. That's an option. No enemies, no allies, no reason to fight. No family, not even a place to have a picnic. I've lost everything. I'm all alone. Except for you. I mean, I haven't even lost your name. That's so rude. What's your name, friend? Can I call you... Mark, you look like a Mark. I don't need anything because nothing is left. Do you understand now? There's nothing for me. Yeah, Mark, sucks for you. Also, does this mean this is like your last chance because everyone's dead and like, who knows when you're going to see another human. All the humans might be dead for you know. Oh, Mark. Why are you doing this? Let's, I mean, we barely know each other and now you're crying. I mean, come on, bro. This is just awkward. Why are you crying? It's all too unfair. I hate it. It's just too awful. I thought there was going to be a twist like this is my son or something like that, you know. You cry from hearing other people's stories. I mean, it's possible Mark... Hasn't seen another person. Well, Mark says he hasn't seen another person in like hundreds of years. At that point, just talking to another person would be quite an emotional experience. Even though you're a demon, I was always bad at making pacts, okay? The other demons all made pacts with the humans. But I couldn't, so I was left here by myself. I felt so sad and pathetic, so I told myself... I'd get the next human on the moon for sure. I mean, now I feel bad. I mean, I guess you can have my body, Mark. I don't really care. But one day I woke up and the moon was in ruins. I couldn't believe it. I just wanted to cry. Everyone was gone. I had nothing to do and was so lonely. And then a human finally came from the outside world. I was so ready to make a pact at last, but then... I won't have it. Even a demon would cry after all this. Being a demon doesn't suit you at all. Here I thought the outside was full of hope and fun. Oh, you poor summer child. It's all miserable all the time. Everywhere you go. I was so happy to finally talk to someone. So please, 
Let me act like a proper demon to you. I mean, I should say no! But also, I mean, this is like he's a demon. This is just like another ploy to like trick me, you know? Like the direct route didn't work. He's trying to make me feel bad for him. I'm on to you, you demon scum. Let me die! Warning. Life support system shut down in 30 seconds. Thank fuck! Finally! Demon, I will soon be dead. Once I'm dead, you can do whatever the fuck you want to my body. I don't really care. Yes, because you were stubborn until the end. Yep. I mean, if there's one thing you can say about me, it's that I'm stubborn. I'm glad somebody besides me knows my story. And now I'm going to die and be at peace. And you're going to have to live with the horrible knowledge that I've just shared to you. Enjoy that burden. But my wish is to be... But my wish is to be my helpless self until the end. So I cannot give you my body or my heart. I mean, what the fuck is going on here? First he says he just wants my body. Then suddenly he wants my spirit. And now my heart is apparently part of this deal? What the fuck's going on here? Fucking altering the deal, motherfucker. Mark, Jesus, why you just cannot trust a demon. You're a kind demon, Mark. Have fun being alone on the moon for the rest of eternity. I hope the next human who comes here has a body that works for you. I had fun talking with you, Mark. Good luck. Warning. Life support system shut down in five seconds. Am I finally dead? You beat me. You refused to say yes to the very end. At least let me set you off with a nice... No! Don't send me off with a dream. The only dream we talked about is a bad dream and I don't want that. A dream for the self you stay true to. Oh, we're having a picnic. Ah, uh, I'm really not cut out to be a demon. I hope I can go on a picnic with somebody someday too. I mean, I don't know where you would go on a picnic, because apparently the earth is fucked, but... 